Good morning. Now we will talk about the next topic of the chapter that is transposition method. Transposition method to solve an equation. Now, in this method, what is there? First of all, uh, the method, this transposition method is the best suitable method to solve for an equation. If you are looking for the solution of an equation, you should always go for this transposition method in spite of using the systematic method and trial and error method. Because in this method, you have to simply follow few steps without even thinking that which number to be used to multiply both the sides or to divide both the sides or subtract or add to the both sides you can solve the equation directly. Now, how do we do that? Let us take one example. 4x minus 5 equals to 11. Now, we will be solving this method by transposition. Now, as the word suggests transposition means you are changing the place of the uh, variable and the constant figures that are present in the equation. For that, what do we do? We will uh, have to always keep in mind that whenever you are shifting any variable term or any constant term from left hand side to right hand side or vice versa, you are going to change the sign of that particular term. For example, I want this 5 to be shifted towards the right hand side. Then what I will do? Here, the 5 has minus sign. But when it will go towards the right hand side, the sign will get changed to plus. So this only is the one fact about this transposition method that has to be kept in mind while solving or by, while finding the solution of that particular equation. So 4x minus 5, what I did, this 5 was to be transposed towards the right hand side. So I changed the sign of 5 from minus to plus. That means if there is a minus sign, it will change to plus. If there is a plus sign, again it will change to minus. If there is a multiplication sign, it will change to divide and vice versa. Right? So these are the two facts that you have to keep in mind. Now, 4x equals to 11 plus 5 is 16. Now here, this 4 is multiplying x okay so 16 now x will be dividing when uh, uh, this uh, 4 will be dividing 16 when it will be shifted towards the right hand side so 16 upon 4 you get 4 so here comes the solution of x okay here comes the solution for the x. Now, without even thinking that which number to first multiply, to first divide, you have reached to the calculation quickly. So, this time takes, uh, this uh, solution uh, or this method utilizes less time than previously learned both the methods to solve for an equation. Now, Transposing a number is the same as adding or subtracting the number from both the sides. In doing so, the sign of the number has to be changed. That means you have to uh, transpose or shift the number from one side to the other. Then if an equation has brackets, they are sometimes solved first. So first suppose if you have got, an, uh, got a bracket in the equation that will be solved first. So this is how you have to solve uh, an equation by using the transposition method. Now let us take one more example that is the illustrative example. In this what are you supposed to do? x minus 3 equals to 2. Now you are going to solve it first. x minus 3 equals to 2 and that 2 you will be checking your result. So this is example 1. x equals to. Next step will be you will be transposing this, this side. 2 plus 3. The sign will get changed. 
So x is equal to 2 plus 3, x is equal to 5, right? So what is the value that you have got for 5? It is x is equal to 5. Now let us check or verify. Now here I will put the value of x. So 5 minus 3 equals to 2. 2 equals to 2 that is LHS is equal to RHS. So this we have already learnt that if suppose the solution towards both the sides of the equation is same, is equal, then we say that whatever solution of x we have calculated is absolutely correct. So this is how we use the transposition method. Now we will learn that how we can form many equations from a solution. So the next topic that we will talk about is forming an equation or you can say forming many equations from a given solution. Forming from a solution. Right? Now see, whenever you have been given, suppose I have been given that the value of x is equal to 3. Right? Now, we I will multiply both the sides by 5. Okay? Now multiply both the sides by 5. Five x equals to three multiplied by five. So five x is equal to fifteen. In this equation also, the value for x will remain same. Now subtract two from both the sides. Okay. Next is subtract two from both the sides. That is x minus two equals to 3 minus 2. What are you going to get? You will get x minus 2. Uh, uh, subtract 2 from both the sides now after this. Uh, here you will write 15 minus 2. Sorry. Now x minus 2 will remain same. Here you will get 13. Now if again if you shift this 2. Okay. There. Then and here you will not use x is equal to 3. You will use the complete equation that is this equation. From this equation you will subtract 2 from both the sides. Then again the solution for x will be 3 only. Right? Now if suppose I have got x equals to 3 then divide both the sides by 5. Okay? One more condition could be that you have to divide both the sides by 5. Divide both the sides by 5. x upon 5 equals to 3 upon 5. 5. Right? But here we will be using the same equation. 5x multiplied by 5. 5x upon 5 equals to 15 upon 5. So again the value will come to be same. Now add 2 to both the sides. Add minus 2. 2 uh, both the sides, not minus 2, 2 to both the sides. We have got 5x minus 2, right? Plus 2, 13 plus 2, right? That was the last equation. Fine. 
So then again what I have got minus 2 5x is equal to 15. So I have reached to 2 that same equation again that we have done after multiplying x by 3 by 5. So this is how we form. Now you can make many equations from a solution but you cannot get more than one solution for an equation. When we talk of linear equation we always have only one solution for the variable. To each of the above you can add any of the numbers to both the sides or you can subtract any of the numbers from both the sides. So you can get variety of the equations formed by one solution of the variable that you have. Now the next is if suppose we have got a variable both the sides of the equation. In that case what are we going to do? In that case how we will solve the equation? Solving equations having variables in both sides. Solving having both sides. Now, let us take one example for that. That is the equation is 5x minus 2 equals to 3x minus 4. 5x minus 2 equals to 3x minus 4. Now, earlier whatever kind of equations or whatever different equations we have done or we have solved, in that only one side of the uh, equation com comprised of the variable. But here now in this type of equation, both the sides there is a variable. So what you have to do we will be using the transposition method to solve it and what we are going to do we are going to transpose the similar terms or the like terms towards one side as 5x is here it will remain this side plus this 3x will be transposed towards the left side. Now this is minus 4 this will be transposed towards the right hand side okay. This 3 will come this side by a changing of sign. This 2 will go that side by a change of sign. Right. Now 5x minus 3x that is 2x equals to minus 2. x is equal to minus 2 upon 2. Again transposition will take place of this 2. This is multiplying here. When it will go towards the other side it will be dividing minus 2. So x here go, gets the value of minus 2. One. So this is how you can get the value and you can solve for it. So 5x minus 2, 3x minus 4. So when this will be shifted you will get minus 2. Here you will get 2x. x value will be minus 1. So this is how you can find out the value of the equation wherein both the sides there is a variable. Now let us take few examples for that. 3x minus 1 equals to 2x minus 11. Example 1 that is 3x minus 1 equals to equals to 2x minus 11 and we will be checking the result also. Now first we will solve the brackets 3x minus 3 equals to 2x minus 11. 3x minus 2x minus 11 minus uh, plus 3. x is equal to minus 8. Okay. Now I have got the value of x as minus 8. Now let us put this value here. 3 minus 8 minus 1 equals to 2 into minus 8 minus 11. Right? Now let us see what do we get. Minus 8 and minus 1 is 3 into minus 10 that is minus 30. 
2 into minus 8 that is minus 16 and minus 11. What do you get here? You get here as the value 3x. Let us revise that what we have done till here. 3x minus 1. 3x minus 3. Now 2x minus 11. 2x minus 11 we have got. Now 3x minus 2x, x is equal to minus 8 because this will be going and here with 11 there is minus sign. Now if I put this value minus 8 here, what I will get? I will be first solving it. So it will be not minus 10, it will be minus 9 and I will get here as minus 27 right now minus 16 and minus 11 let us add what we will get we will get 7 and 2 so it will be minus 27 that gives you LHS equals to RHS okay so what we did here we multiplied 3 by minus 9 I got minus 27 here then I multiplied 2 into minus 8 I got minus 16 here then I added minus 16 and minus 11. Then minus 27 equals to minus 27. Then LHS is equal to RHS. So this is how we can solve a particular equation. Now let us take another example. Solve the equation that is 0, plus, 0 equals to 12 plus 4m minus 6. So let us take the next example. The next example is 0 equals to 12 plus 4 m minus 6. 0 equals to 12 plus 4 m minus 24. I will take all the terms this side. Only the constant terms 0 minus 12 plus 24 equals to 4m. Right now 24 minus 12 is 0 plus 12 equals to 4m. m is equal to 12 upon 4 that is therefore m is equal to 3. So you have got the value of m as 3. So this is the example. 2. Now you can check your solution by putting the value 3 here. Now I will put 0 is equal to 12 plus 4 3 minus 6 that is 0 equals to 12 plus 3 minus 6 is 4 multiplied by minus 3. 0 is equal to 12 minus 12. 0 is equal to 0. That means LHS is equal to RHS. Hence we have verified also that the solution of the equation is absolutely correct. Now, we will move on to exercise 6c. Now, using the same method, as I have explained, we will be solving some questions. So, question number 1 of exercise 6c. A is equal to minus 20. A part is uh, minus 20 equals to 5 into 2x plus 1. So, it is not compulsion to uh, check your result always, but for your convenience, you can do that uh, checking. But if suppose it is asked to you that after finding the solution of the equation, verify your result also, then you have to find out the verification also. You have to go and check for the verification also because that question comprises of the marks for both these steps. That is first finding the solution and then verifying the solution that you have uh, calculated is correct or not. So if suppose it is not mentioned in the question then we will not go for verifying every time. 
So minus 20 equals to 5 into 2x plus 1 is my equation. Minus 20 is equal to this. 5 twos are 10x plus 5. Right? Now 10x will remain here. Minus 20 minus 5 10x. So x is equal to minus 25. x is equal to minus 25 upon 10. The value of x comes to be minus 2.5. Now, one more important thing that it is not always, uh, it is not always possible that you get the value of this x as a whole number. It could be a number in decimal, it could be a number with a negative sign. So, you have to be prepared in every uh, kind of the solution, right? Now, we will talk. Uh, I will be taking the C part of the equation, uh, C part of the question number 1. In C part, we have got 3 x minus 5 upon 4 equals to 6. So, we will solve 3 x minus 15 upon 4 equals to 6. Cross multiply 3x minus 15 equals to 4 into 6. That is 3x minus 15 equals to 24. 3x minus 15 equals to 24. That is 3x equals to 24 plus 15. So 3x is equal to 5 and 4, 9. 1 and 2, 39. X is equal to 39 upon 3. That is 13. So, the value of X, therefore, is equal to 13. This is how you can calculate the solution for the equation. Now, I will be taking question number E of question number 1. So, E is 25 equals to 25 equals to 5 2y plus 1. Now, 25 as it is, 5 2s are 10y plus 5. Now, 25 minus 5 equals to 10y. 20 equals to 10y. Y is equal to 20 upon 10. Therefore, the value of Y is 2. Now, this is how you will calculate for the value of Y. Now, 3, the F part is again very similar. I will be taking H part now. So, let us see what is there in H part. In H part, I have got 3 minus 2, 2 minus y equals to 7. So, 3 minus 4, 2 to the 4 plus 2y equals to 7. So, it is minus 1 plus 2y equals to 7. So, 2y equals to 7 plus 1. 2y equals to 8. That is, y is equal to 8 upon 2. You get the value of y as 4. So, this is how we have calculated the value of y by transposing the by transposing the uh, similar terms or like terms towards one side of the equation. Now, let us come on to the question number 2. For question number 2, I will be taking two parts that is the E1 uh, 27 equals to 7x minus 1. So, 27 plus 1, 7x, 
28 equals to 7x. x is equal to 28 upon 7. That is x is equal to 4. So this is how you have found the solution for this particular question. Now I will be taking the h or uh, the g part sorry. Now in g part we have got a fraction. Then how to solve that value? a upon 5 plus 3 equals to 2. Right. Now first I will take this constant term towards that side. Minus 3. What you have got in the next step? a upon 5 equals to minus 1. a is equal to minus 1 into 5. a is equal to minus 5. So this will be cross multiplied and taken that side. Now let us come on to question number 3. In question number 3, we have got the variables towards both the sides of the equation. So, I will be again taking D and F part for that. So, in question number 3, I will first solve the D part. That is 3 into x minus 3 equals to 5 into 2x plus 1. Right, 5 into 2x plus 1. So, 3x minus 9 equals to 10x plus 5. So, 3x minus 10x equals to plus 5 minus 9. So, here I got minus 7x. Here I got minus 4x minus 7. Now, both the sides minus sign will be cancelled. 7x equals to 4 x is equal to 4 upon 7. So, you can get a fractional value for the uh, variable also. Okay. You can get a fractional value for the variable also. It is not compulsion that you will always get a whole number. Now, I will be taking the E part of the or I can take F part. So, I will take F part. Now, in F part, 4A minus 8 equals to 2A plus 4. That is, 4A minus 2A equals to 4 plus 8. I have got 2A here. Here I have got 12. Right? Now, A is equal to 12 upon 2. So, the value of A comes to be 6. This is how you can calculate for the value of A. Now, construct two equations solving with x equals to 5. Now, I have to construct equation also. If suppose the value of x is 5. But the value or every time should come 5 only. So, now, your answer might vary in this in these type of question. So, not to worry. You can frame the equation according to your convenience. So, if suppose x is equal to 5, then I can, uh, I can multiply both the sides by 2. So, 2x equals to 5 into 2. So, 2x is equal to 10. This is my first equation. Right. Now, I want that the equation should not get changed and uh, sorry, the solution equation should get changed but the solution could, should not get changed. So, what should I do for keeping the uh, solution that is x is equal to 5 only. So, the next equation that I can get here is, suppose this is 2x and this is 10. Now, if I add, if I add a number to this number, that could be, uh, let's say, I will be saying that subtracting 5 both the sides, 2x minus 5 equals to 10 minus 5, right? Now, 2x minus 5 equals to 5. 
Now here, if I put the value of x, let's check. 2 into 10 minus 5 equals to 5. So, uh, 2 into 5, sorry. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. So, 5 is equal to 5. So, hence, this can be also the possible equation after this equation. So, I have framed two equations. Now, after uh, referring to the uh, questions I have solved for you, you can do the remaining questions on your own. Now, let us move on to the next topic of the chapter.